it's a great little one to see for the students. The, it's known as the Cartesian Diver. Um, the name comes from an, an old demo book. The Cartesian Diver uh, is a cool little demonstration just to show or demonstrate Bohr's Law again. So you get a bottle and you fill it with water, you get about a 1.25 litre uh, plastic bottle. It's got to be plastic so that you can squeeze it and uh, actually change the, the pressure inside. It's the simplest one. All it is is just fill a, a 1.25 or a 2 litre plastic bottle, musty plastic, fill it with water. Then you get a little uh, plastic pipette or anything really which uh, has a small volume and doesn't weigh too much and you can adjust the, uh, the size of it. So you squeeze uh, the plastic pipette take up a small amount of liquid. The trick is fill it with about half water. So just you know get some water, fill it about half, and so what will happen is the little plastic pipette will sit there, sort of float on the top when you put it inside the top of uh, the 1.25 litre plastic bottle. So when you put the pipette in the water, you can actually adjust the weight of that pipette by adding little bits of blue tack until the weight is just enough to keep it just floating cap it and it's ready to go and what so what you've got there is you've got a little plastic puff to be pet about half full of air half full of water happily sitting at the top of this uh, plastic bottle full of water now you can set that up whenever you want to do that completely in all the time you can squeeze the bottle now as you squeeze the bottle you're increasing the pressure and the volume of air inside the pipette actually reduces it sucks up a little bit of extra liquid which increases the density of that, uh, that pipette and its um, components. Now, a good point to make with the students later on, you've done nothing to change the amount of air in that past pipette. You've just changed the volume. So now the past pipette has more water, which has made the, the, um, the density of the whole past pipette unit um, heavier. And so then that forces the little, the little um, the past pipette, you know, in this case our Cartesian diver, down into the bottom of the plastic um, bottle. And so you can release the pressure. Um, again, that obviously then increases the volume inside the past pipette. The past pipette floats back up. You can actually hold it and squeeze it just enough so that the density of the Cartesian diver is exactly the same as the water and it floats in the middle or floats wherever you've stopped it. If you just get that amount of water just right inside there, you can sit there and squeeze, uh, release, squeeze, release. And this, this diver will be happily just go up and down, up and down as long as you want. And so that starts off a great conversation about what's actually causing them to go up and down. You haven't changed the amount of air, so you've only changed the amount of volume. And so that is what's causing the diver to go up and down.